So the system has three core components to it. The first is a laser transmitter and receiver assembly which is bolted together here. So what we're looking at is a standard pinpoint micro gauge laser with a transparent receiver which is attached to the front of it mounted onto a common mounting plate. For this particular presentation or demonstration we also have a four axis precision mount. This is a standard product from pinpoint and it's sitting on one of our tripods. So what this does is it allows the laser beam to go out and it bounces off of a mirror which we'll talk about in a second and then comes back into this receiver uh, for the measurement process. If we move ourselves over here, second part of the system is a mirror assembly and what this is doing is it's bringing the laser beam folding it back and sending it back to that receiver we talked about just a moment ago. This particular um, mirror is attached onto a moving sled which has three tooling balls on the bottom and those tooling balls rest on the surface of your press or other elements and as this moves along and it encounters slope or height changes this mirror assembly moves up and down and changes angle and of course as it changes angle so does the mirror and the beam that's reflected back to the laser changes dimension back there. The third part of our system is our micro gauge pro display system. This is showing a vertical reading and a horizontal reading coming from the receiver back at the laser. The horizontal reading is not of importance to us but the vertical reading is. So as the laser beam moves um, as, the, as the laser beam moves up or down that vertical number will change significantly and I'm just moving this by hand and you can see how sensitive that reading is. So the basic process here is this mirror assembly is moved down the length of the bed and as it moves along the readings change because this encounters slope changes as you go. We've also set up a laptop here with a spreadsheet applic application that basically is pulling data from the display unit. It's got a designated cell for each measurement location on your press surface. So as this moves along, the readings are being recorded and then eventually there's a plot that shows the profile, the surface profile of the particular measurement run. 